So here we go then. Um, next part of the Beetlejuice Bridge diorama. Um, I don't want to keep it on an A2 size, which is what this board is. So I've just cut it down. I, I don't think we don't need um, a full A2. Um, so the plan is just drawn out here. The bridge around here, in idea of scale, so that they'll drive around. It uh, curves left into the bridge before they come off the side here, and then if they did come out, curve around to the right. So what we need is just enough to demonstrate that. So the river would run roughly along these kind of sections here, depending on its shape, and it came out and carried on along here somewhere. Let's look at that. So that's pretty much almost like almost a, a full cross section, if you like. So there'll be some foliage and trees and things in these sections here. And obviously supports um, for the bridge itself. So just to give me some kind of idea of scale. So I think that's what we're going to go with. Um, obviously, that I'm, I think the first thing I'm going to have to do is build the what would have been the bridge supports for the actual bridge section to stand on and then we can work out heights and things for the, the rest of the diorama from there I think and of course depth here for the river. Like a family tree Part of you and part of me And if we should separate Go your own way I won't wait Bring the funk back. So there we are, just getting some kind of perspective as to the height that I need to get under the bridge. Um, because obviously the water level is quite high, so I'm not going to have a big deep furrow where the water is. I'm just going to give an impression of deep water as it flows along. So again, drive round this way, drive out that way. That way. <laughs> River flowing here. So I think that's where we are at the moment. Again, just cut those four, as you saw. Four, as you saw. Whoops. And uh, it falls down like the bridge does. <laughs> Right, this, this is the idea. Obviously, the, it's not the full extent of it, but to give you an idea, so if I'm going to go along this route, um, or this route, this, obviously this road section is going to have to be built up, as is the banking. 
Uh, so the other option was to um, cut this little section out uh, and then mount that on another board. Um, but I haven't decided what to do with that yet. So still working on that, but uh, that's the idea. Give you. There we are. So, uh, yeah, that's where we've got to so far. Okay, Smokey, this is where. Okay, Smokey, this is where we left off last time. Um, not in this particular position, clearly, but this is the point we got to in the build. Today, the plan is. Um, just take these off to forge this this valley here um, where the river flows through so basically we're going to build up this side and this side so we have a valley in and we're going to use the magic material commonly known as polystyrene so that's where we're going today let's get on so now I've removed the bridge, what I've actually done, you, you can probably see, is I've just drawn a, a line around where the bridge supports were situated. So we need to build up here, along this edge and around, and the same roughly on this side. So this is where we're starting off from. So really I just need to cut off these sections here which won't be needed because of the overhang or hangover so we'll chop those off first Let's move that out <clears throat> simple Stanley knife I mean be careful obviously using tools like this don't do it on your own unless you're grown up of course but it's really really simple it doesn't have to be perfect because we'll put a board around it afterwards yeah we'll keep that pod stone everywhere we're going to be living with that for days guarantee that let's pull the blade in that will clear that don't run your fingers down the blade <coughs> i know teaching some suck eggs but uh, you know, best to be safe. So as long as we're in the right sort of area, or ballpark as the Americans would say. Same thing. <laughs> They're constantly cleaning up today, aren't I? <coughs> Static! That there! <laughs> That's those two. <clears throat> I'm going to have to get the vacuum cleaner out, <laughs> just clean up as I go along. So there we are, look a bit cleaned up. <laughs> ah, it's going to be the order of the day, like I said, no problem there. Did expect that, so I can't complain. <clears throat> so now I've just got to utilise the bits of cut off. Cut off. Cut off. <laughs> Dear, so calm in my old age. No comments, please, Christine. <laughs> We'll just cut that off just there. Make some more mess, that'll be great. Ah, oh, see, lesson learned. Cut it rather than drag it, you get less mess. It still sticks to you. <coughs> so. Technically, we have this side. Um, obviously, all this needs shaping. It's got to be cut down, etc., <coughs> to fit in with Dara. Shapes. Um, I'll slope these. Um, I'm going to call them banks down. Um, so we'll do the same on the other side, and we'll come back. So there you go. As you can see, loads of mess. This is another mess, it's not the same mess I did before because I hoovered that up. So once again, this is the second section. Safety first, move that. This is going to sit over here. And that's designed to 
sit there. So we've now got this nice valley that we can put our bridge on. So once again, I'll clean up this mess. It's just sticking to everything in the room. And we'll come back. So as you can see we've cut that out now, bits everywhere again. So that's now going to sit in there quite nicely, which is going to be level with the road and the bridge will sit across here so we've got a nice depth into the river. So I've just got to prop this one in here, this will get built up with rocks, uh, obviously that won't be seen under the bridge. So again, just do the other side and we'll do that. You know, it doesn't matter if it's rough around here because the ground is never <coughs> equal, equal distance around these sort of things. So we're just going to make it fit as is and uh, pack that up and make that all nice. When we've got that far. Okay, yet another <laughs> big clean up. Here we are. So the idea is, as we said, this is going to sit in there. This one's going to sit in there. And that brings us up with the level of the, the bridge, which is going to sit on top of that, obviously. So now you get an idea of the actual um, scale of <coughs> the diorama for what it's going to be. So that's gone better than I expected, but as well as I had hoped. So uh, we'll move on a little bit more and uh, I'll come back to you. So, this is what we've done so far. So the bridge has now been sunk into the polystyrene, so it runs a level. So obviously the uh, road path would come in, cross the bridge and come out the other side, the bridge will fit over that. So I'm happy with that. So we uh, made more mess, so we'll get that cleaned up and move on. All right, I've had to pull the, <laughs> left the remnants. I've had to pull some more of this out um, to make it fit, but as you can see, the, bl the, the bridge, the bridge, is now <laughs> roughly level so I mean you're not going to see it inside but uh, in my mind it needs to be because it will drive me bonkers righty how then just a little bit more contouring done here nothing over the top I will sort out these corners get rid of those but I think the next thing we're going to do is or I'm going to do is um, glue this down to that board because uh, it keeps moving about on me and I can still mold it to suit um, once that's done. There we go, so I've got the basics done there. Um, what I've done is uh, I've covered all this side in PVA glue. Hopefully that's going to help keep all the the loose particles away and stop it from fraying as it were. So I'm quite literally going to do the same on this side. That's a lot of PVA, is not it? And that will also provide me a not such a porous base when I start to add uh, all the elements, shall we say, um, foliage, uh, paint, etc. So I'll get on with that. Then when I've both sides done, and when I've worked out what's next, I'll come back. Okay, so we put this together now. Um, plan is uh, what I've done. 
I'm giving it a coat of PVA glue just to seal it all as I said before and what I've done now is I filled the cracks with some wall filler really so what I'm going to do is now to give it a base coat and uh, something to work on from there whoops I'm just gonna gonna I'm just going to give this a coat a random coat all over of brown paint this is the just burnt sienna to give it a base color again as, as always doesn't need to be perfect because we're going to be putting other things over the top of this and um, we're going to be putting some static grass on there a few shrubs here and there some trees so again this is just a base to cover up all the white underneath so i'll get on with that we'll bore you watching me do all this and then we'll come back so there we are just one quick coat of burnt sienna it looks very bright on this screen it's actually a lot darker than that so as always waiting for paint to dry so i'll leave that to dry um, i've not done these supports because they need to be kind of off grey so I'll do those afterwards and I need to look at what I'm going to do here to get the water effects but I've got an idea for that which I will share with you okay so now we've got the the beginnings at least of the um, sidings done that support the bridge it's now time to start um, creating the actual um, the red cover of the bridge the actual type of shed thing that's actually over it so i've got the uh the bridge section here so i can take some measurements and uh we'll see how we go from there right you are then so the plan now is to start building the shed section of the bridge um i don't know what it's called in america it looks like a big shed to me so what i'm planning to do is I'm going to build a foam board skeleton for it and then on the outside I'm going to use coffee stirrers for the wooden planks now it's going to be painted black on the inside so you won't notice that and probably use lolly sticks for the roof because they're slightly wider um, that's the plan at the moment it may change but for the moment I need to make a start so let's do that okay I've got some basic measurements of uh, pitch we've just looked at so roughly uh, we've got a length of 20 centimeters of the bridge um, a height of 10 centimeters to the uh, bridge of the roof and from the base of the bridge to the top of the roof is 15 centimeters with a 9 centimeter clearance uh, on the inside there so you get some foam board just here we'll mark some of that up there we go 20 centimeters so um, I'm sorry I'm working in uh, centimeters and millimeters rather than inches I do I do tend to switch between the two if I'm honest uh, which is not helpful for anybody uh, except maybe for me but uh, sorry that's what I do so we get two meters of 20 because obviously we've got two sides Get those measured up. Because we've got to make a start somewhere, right? So I'll get on with measuring this up and I'll speed this up a bit so it doesn't bore you too much.
like a family tree. Part of you and part of me. And if we should separate... Right, <clears throat> as you see, I marked them out, and um, particularly on this one, because uh, this is the side where the hole's going to be in the side of the bridge where the Maitland's car um, crashes through. Like that, special effects. So roughly, this far in from the front, etc., it's pretty much that wide, and that's the maximum height there. So I'll need to cut that out. I'm gonna cut it a little bit higher than, than it should be, because I need some of the boards to hanging below to show uh, the broken sections. Right, so that's the sides worked out. It's just roughing it out at the moment. So now we need to get the support sections for the e each end. So obviously this should be um, nine centimeters, I'll try and do it that way, uh, in width, which it is. <clears throat> so we need to make uh, end structures eight because I've got a five millimeter um, foam board for the end. So we need to allow for that. So we'll get on with that, cut that out and we'll come back. Okay, I've cut the, the two ends, so these will fit on the ends here, like that. Obviously I'm going to cut this middle section out, so we're going to get on with that now, and uh, then we'll see what we've got from there. So there we go, that's the two ends cut. Um, this is just one of the sides. The crash site, and the crash side obviously is here. So these will go together quite nicely, I think, and form part of the section of the shed, or over cover thingy. But that's where we are. Bring the funk back. Okay, we've got the um, foam board version of our cover um, done. I've just glued that up with some hot glue, so just waiting for that to set properly. It sets pretty quick, but there you go. So now I need to be looking at the outside cladding. <clears throat> so as I said, I'm going to use these coffee stirrers for the outside boards. So I'm going to make them roughly, I want them nine and a half centimetres in length. That gives me um, a five mil overhang to the side of the bridge, which is what I want, because if you look at the photographs on, of the bridge itself, there, there is, the, the boards do come over the side of the actual um, support bridge itself, so we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna cut all these to, well, <laughs> I'm gonna start cutting all these to size, and um, 
and I suppose we'll start sticking them on. That's just it. one for one side. I hope there's enough there. I'll tell you what, I'm needy. I'm in need of a coffee. So there we are. You guys are amazing. So we can you do me a favour though, other than the usual, hit that like button, click subscribe, gotta be done. You can buy me a coffee if you like. I'd really appreciate that. I feel like a bit of togetherness. Really supports the channel as well. And believe me, buying me a coffee means more to me than actually buying me a coffee. It helps the channel so so much. But enough for that. Appreciate that. You don't have to. Just watch the videos and enjoy. So, like I said, buying me a coffee really really helps. Is that right, Rob? What? I said buying us a coffee really really helps the channel. Does it? Yes. Yeah. It does. There you go. Okay, so next stage, it's time to start putting the wooden planks on this, on the sides. And so what I'm gonna do is gonna use some super duper, good old friendly Gorilla wood glue, and stick that on. So I'm gonna put it over here. Probably gonna do half this section first, stick that on, because the glue does dry pretty quick. And move on to the other section.
So there we are, that's the crash side, obviously. Um, not done the end sections yet, uh, but I have done the other side. I think we're going to call it a day here, as this, this, this video has gone on long enough. So next time we'll get around to painting it, and we'll fit the roof, and then we'll put it in place and see what we've got. Well, that was a long session, wasn't it? For those of you that stayed to the end, thanks very much. I really appreciate that. I think we've done enough for so far. So, so we'll leave it there and we'll finish it off next time. Well, we'll finish this section off. It's the wooding and probably some painting. I think so. Until then, flipping cold out there. Still that COVID-y stuff knocking around. So look after yourselves. Please stay safe and I'll see you next time. <laughs>